Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and in this video I will be sharing some beginner friendly home lab ideas if you want to put your technical skills into practice or application. So in this video, I'm going to give you some home lab project ideas for IT that can run on minimal hardware like basic laptop or desktop. So you don't have to worry about not having fancy hardware or any fancy setup at home. Most of these projects can be done using virtual machines or a simulation software. So you don't have to worry about adding more physical devices to your setup. You can use whatever you have right now. So if you're interested in today's video, please keep on watching and without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first home lab idea is a virtualized Windows environment. The purpose for this is to learn Active Directory, Group Policy, Windows Server, and User Management. So the tools that you will need for this is any virtualization platform that you're comfortable with, just like VirtualBox, VMware, or Hyper-V a Windows Server ISO, and a Windows 10 or 11 for the client virtual machines. So I already started making a series for this home lab where you will learn how to install Windows Server on a virtual machine and then add the Active Directory tools and then do some user management and some GPO file permissions and security policies. So if you want to check that out, it's in the channel. And also on the website, I provided some PDF for the step-by-step -step instruction on how to install everything and how to do this home lab activity if you're interested. So this home lab project is really great if you're just starting in IT and want to learn the Active Directory basics because Active Directory is typically used on a daily basis. It's used a lot of times when you're working in IT, especially in entry level. We do a lot of password resets there and adding group memberships and adding computers to the domain. So if you want to learn all about the Windows domain environment, this is a really great home lab project for you. So next home lab idea is basic network simulation with packet tracer. The purpose of this home lab activity is to learn more about networking concepts in application like switching, routing, IP addressing, VLANs, subnets, and more. So the only tool that you will need in here is Cisco packet tracer software, which is free if you register for the Cisco Network Academy or the Skills for All. And you can just download it and install for free on your computer. I've also started making a playlist for home lab ideas to try using Packet Tracer and they're on the channel. And I also have PDF instructions on the website as well if you want to check them out. This is really good if you want to focus more on networking in your career and if you are studying for CCNA or other Cisco certs, or if you are just starting to learn computer networking. Next idea for a home lab activity is to set up a ticketing system with rules to practice your ticketing system skills. So the objective of this activity is to learn how to handle tickets, setting priorities, and also make rules for automation in ticketing system, especially if you haven't worked on a ticketing system before. This is a really good practice for you. There are some free ticketing system platforms that you can try out there like Spiceworks. I use Spiceworks for my videos when I'm teaching about ticketing system. Okay, so for example, you wanted to try out a ticketing system just like Spiceworks. So you can go to Spiceworks ticketing system on Google and click on this cloud-based help desk software. And you can click on Try Cloud Help Desk and register your information in here, email address and password. And after that, you can click on Join Spiceworks. Once you have registered to Spiceworks, you can select IT tools from the menu above and click on Cloud Help Desk because that is the ticketing system for Spiceworks. And click on Try Cloud Help Desk. And as you can see, we now have the ticketing system here and you can create new tickets just so you can practice on how to create tickets like this and set the priorities for example, add the descriptions so you can see how ticketing system works. So you can also make some rules for the tickets that will automate your operations in the ticketing systems. So if you're using Spiceworks, this is where you can set the ticket rules. You can go to the settings on the left side and then click on ticket rules and then you can add a ticket rule. Okay, so one example I can give you on adding tickets is to route the tickets to specific tags 
via different categories so the goal for this is to help streamline ticket assignments by having categories route issues to the relevant technicians so for example there's a ticket about like a networking issue you can automatically route it to the network engineer another example is if there's a security issue you can route it directly to the security team for example so you can go to this add ticket rule in here and then add the title or the description of the rule for example we can do route network issues and then under the rules there's like different options you can choose from the drop down in here we will just stick to category because we want our category to be networking so in the drop down here on this side there is the network so for example a networking related ticket comes in this is going to be the rule and then the action can be changed at the bottom so you can select from the different options so let's say assign to because we want to route the ticket to a person or a team for example we want marie to get the networking tickets because she's the network engineer for example and that's how you can add the rule in here so you can also practice on the different options in here for the rules and see how they work in the ticketing system another good idea for a home lab activity is to explore the windows sys internal tool set so this is a good practice to get hands-on with troubleshooting and system maintenance using these tools the only tools that you will need is a Windows operating system and you can download the SysInternals tools for free on Windows and this is what we typically use at work. We use a lot of the SysInternal tools in there and you can practice your troubleshooting and system maintenance in there too. So one of the most common tools that we use from SysInternals is the auto logon tool. So this tool will automatically log on your computer without having to type the credentials on it. And this is helpful for like kiosk machines or computers that just need to display something on the screen. So another really good home lab idea as well is technical documentation using documentation tools like Notion, DocuWiki, or other platforms. So the goal for this home lab is to experience creating technical documents for your projects. For example, you have done the Windows Server project or the Packet Tracer project. It's really good to practice documenting every step that you have done, your configuration, your settings on a proper platform because you will learn how it's really done in the workplace because we do documentation a lot, especially if we have set up new projects new configurations and new settings. At least you will learn how to document your own projects and it will also help you when you're troubleshooting later on. For example, you're going back to a configuration that you forgot about. If you have documented it, it'll be so much easier to troubleshoot. Okay, so I'm gonna show you an example of how to document your projects. For example, we have done the basic land setup. So what you wanna do is add the objective first or the goal of the project, what you will learn from doing this. And then it's nice to have systems requirements also, like what kind of software and hardware is required to run this project. And then a diagram for the lab setup, if possible or applicable just like this for the packet tracer and the steps for how to install and set up and configure it. So this is where all of the commands will be added and all of the steps that you have done. So for this document, I'm using Notion. So if you are interested in using Notion as well, you can register for free. And if you're new to Notion, it's kind of hard to get used to it if you're beginning. So what you can do is you can search for free templates that you can use that's already set up and configured for whatever purpose you need it for. For example, for this documentation, you can search for a template by clicking on this templates on the left side and then you can search for it for example technical documentation you can download the free templates here or pay for a template if you want so this is what i use for my technical documentation template so it's up to you and what you choose in here but this is an example of a platform that you can use for practicing your documentation so these are some of the beginner friendly home lab ideas that you can try on your own personal computer without 
additional hardware requirements for you. All of the tools and software and platform that I have given in this example are free or have free trial that you can try. So I hope that you learned something from today's episode and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. And I hope to see you guys in more episodes for this Home Lab idea series. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys on the next videos.